Hi, Jeff Jackson here for another edition of Telecom Tips from Telephone Magic. Today we are going to be featuring the Avaya 1400 series digital phones. You just go to telephonemagic.com and scroll down to uh, the uh, line here with the Avaya 1400 series digital phones. You can either click directly on the photograph here or on the title up here and it'll take you right to the page which has the 1400 series Avaya phones. Now these are digital phones for the IP office version 6 or higher. You have to check your software level to make sure your IP office will support these phones. But they are one of the newer version phones from uh, Avaya. They actually are considered the value edition, uh, a family of cost-effective digital telephones that delivers a lot of the familiar features uh, but an attractive price point for customers with basic communication needs. You'll see here that the uh, series consists of three telephones and a button module. The phones are the 1403 uh, digital phone here, the 1408 digital phone, the 1416 phone here, and the button module right here. We'll start off with the 1403 phone. And again, similarly, you can either click on the photograph or on the title, and it'll get you to a page specifically about uh, this phone and this phone model. The 1403 is recommended for users uh, with uh, they're either in common areas such as kitchens, hallways, lobbies, stock rooms, uh, warehouses are great too, mail rooms. It's a full duplex speaker phone and it also has a 2.6 inch 2 line by 16 character white back lit display. It's an LCD display. Uh, there are three feature keys right here, here, and here that are programmable. Uh, and they do include dual LED lights, so both red and green to show different statuses. Um, the f uh, fixed feature buttons as well uh, are for conference, transfer, drop, uh, the hold button, of course, right here. Uh, there is a mute button as well. Uh, and a redial speaker phone. Uh, the, the phone set is actually hearing aid compatible, the actual handset. Uh, there is a message waiting light in the top of the set here to let you know if you've got voicemail. There is a volume control here to uh, either volume up or volume down. Uh, and then there's a speaker and a handset and a ringer uh, as well. So uh, just to give you a closer view of the phone, here is the uh, 1403 Avaya digital set. And uh, it does allow you to sort of see the display a lot better here, the message waiting light, and the dual LED programmable buttons right here. Uh, up next, we move to the 1408 uh, phone. This would be more of a, a standard phone for uh, basic office users. And uh, as you can see, the, uh, the Avaya 1408 uh, is for light to moderate everyday telephone users. Again, standard office phone. It has a larger display here, three rows by 24 characters, a white, uh, again, a white backlit display. It supports eight line appearances with dual LEDs. So that's a big improvement over the 1403. You now have a lot more uh, one touch buttons to get to other extensions and to also see the status of people with those dual LEDs. Uh, you'll actually see if they're on the on the phone already or not and you can do one touch transfers through those as well. The fixed feature buttons, volume up and down again, mute speaker, a menu button uh, where you can get into your call logs and whatnot. Uh, the menu button is right here. Uh, you've got a hold button, conference transfer, a drop button, a redial, a headset button, uh, which is really handy as well to uh, uh, add your headset and to actually go in and out of headset mode. Uh, contacts, a call log button, uh, quick access to voicemail as well. Right here, you've got a voicemail button. Uh, there are three contextual soft keys. Now, these are great because they actually change depending on what you're using. If you're going to be using voicemail, for instance, those buttons have different functions than they would if you're in a call log. So it's really great because they actually change uh, their uses as you change your, uh, you know, what part of the phone you're actually in. The one thing that I really love about these phones is the four-way navigation cluster here. It's basically like your TV remote at home for cable. Uh, it makes it very easy scrolling through your call logs and whatnot. Uh, menus, uh, you can access to most uh, your most often used features like call forwarding, 
park, uh, your settings and things like that with the menu button. It has a two-way speaker phone and it connects to a, a digital station port obviously and once again it's compatible with the IP office version 6 or higher. And a bigger picture again here of the Avaya 1408 phone and the large display here, multi-line display uh, with uh, just uh, again with the eight buttons here for programming uh, individual extensions and things like that. They're really, really handy. Uh, moving on, we go to the 1460. Now, this is a phone that's obviously going to be more for a reception user, someone in that really has a heavy phone usage. Um, this particular phone uh, has all of the uh, buttons down the side here, uh, 16 buttons. And again, it's pretty obvious. 1403 is the three button set, the 1408, the eight button set, and the 16 button set is the 1416. Uh, it has a four row display as opposed to the two and three row displays of the smaller sets. Uh, it's 24 characters actually by four rows and it's adjustable uh, as far as the uh, white backlit display is concerned. Supporting 16 line appearances with the dual LEDs. Again, you see the red and green lights here. That shows status. So if uh, you have someone on an extension, you'll know they're already on the phone. You can say, hey, uh, I, you know, they're already on the phone, but if you'd like, I'll transfer you to their voicemail. And you still just transfer. And uh, once you hit the transfer key, you connect to the person that you're going to send it to, and it'll go direct to voicemail in that case. It supports up to three of the 30 32 button expansion modules and we'll get into those in just a moment. The fixed feature keys again very much the same as the previous model so I won't get into them again uh, and it does also have the 1416 has the contextual buttons here again that change depending on what part of the phone you're in. If you're in the logs like your call logs you're going to be able to use them uh, for different functions than you would if you're in the voicemail section of your uh, phone system. And uh, uh, it does connect to a digital station port, and it actually does uh, have uh, power via the phone system as the other two sets do. There is the 1416 phone there, a larger version of it, and you can really see closely now your, your voicemail message button here, uh, and your navigation cluster, soft keys here, and your large display. Uh, finally, the last item that we're going to get into is your DBM32. And again, you can get quotes from the index page uh, directly uh, through our quote, uh, our express quote module, uh, but you can also get them directly from the individual pages, as you can see here down at the bottom where you can get a quote. All you have to do in this case would be to enter a quantity, for instance, like three, and well, we'll need three power supplies because unlike the phones, the DBM24 does require the power supply. And then uh, by just clicking the get a quote button down here, uh, that would take you into the quote section and allow you to just complete some contact information and we'd get back to you fairly quickly at that point. The button module, the DBM32, uh, is for navigation users essentially, receptionists, assistants, and of course managers uh, like yourself potentially. Uh, it does uh, support the actual 1416 phone, supports three of these button modules. Here you see one of them, but you could actually add a second one here and a third one here for a total of 112 line or feature key um, or again display uh, displaying extensions in the building if you had a much much larger sort of uh, enterprise uh, office location. Uh, they do require, the DBM32 does require its own power supply. Uh, that is the one difference from the phones again. And the uh, IP office system itself can support up to 32 of these DBM32s or the IP equivalent which is the BM32. Uh, and that's, of course, subject to the total system limitations based on the licensing and configuration of the system that, that you have in place. So once again, that is the 1400 series digital phones from Avaya. And it's uh, easy to find these phones on our website at telephonemagic.com. And we look forward to any of your quote requests that you might need. Uh, please do, do us a favor and subscribe to our channel. We'd love to hear from you as well. Please comment. Uh, we'd love you to like uh, any of these videos and certainly this one on the 1400 series phone if you found it uh, helpful. And we look forward to presenting more telecom tips from Telephone Magic. I'm Jeff Jackson. Thanks a lot for checking out this video.